You might want to put it in presentation mode. Yep, I'm working on it. Bottom, bottom right. Next to the gate, yeah, one more. Right there, there you go. There we go. See? Very Got it. Nice. I do serve right, purposes just so, sometimes. Just so everybody on the call can hear right now, um, we're going to keep everybody muted. We'll start in a minute. We're going to keep everybody muted till the end. Um, if you have any questions, um, you feel free to type them in. So maybe we can answer them throughout the uh, throughout the presentation. Otherwise, we will unmute everyone at the end to answer any questions you might have. And we are just going to give it another minute or two. We are waiting on just a couple more people that were registered. And after the broadcast, this will be recorded, so you'll be able to find a copy of it through our website or through our YouTube channel. Oh, there we go. Get rid of these. I look old. Okay, we're getting the last couple of people signing on. Okay, again, we'll get started in just one moment. We'll keep everyone muted till the end. Feel free to type in your questions though, and we'll try to answer them as we go along. Otherwise, you can save them till the end when we'll unmute everyone so you can ask any questions. Okay, gentlemen, you wanna take it away? Yeah, good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Um, I'm Mike Neal, work for Thea Enterprises. I work out of the uh, Bluebell office down the outer side of Philadelphia. Um, we also have Rich Brooks, he's with Ilsco. Um, today, we're gonna to focus a little bit on some new product, um, tell you a little bit about some tooling, um, and hopefully uh, you get a good takeaway from this, um, and we'll get started. Uh, today, um, you know, we're going to pretty much focus on uh, Ilsco's new Mac block, which is a little connector that uh, pretty much allows you, uh, the basic conception of it is to uh, be able to switch from aluminum conductors over to a copper conductor. We'll touch a little bit on the Taskmaster tooling, um, a little bit on the Flex the Code pin adapters they came out with and some improvements they made on them, and we'll take some questions. So Rich, you wanna go ahead and uh, get started with the Mac blocks? Sure, uh, thanks Mike. So the Mac block products, um, they probably the closest competitor out there uh, is the King Innovation product. However, uh, the Mac block is a little bit unique in the fact that uh, our Mac block connectors are a small connector. Um, I don't know if you can really see that in the camera wise, but um, What's unique about these is they cover a wire range from six to 18, or sorry, from 18 down to number six. Uh, they also allow for multiple conductors within a port um, of the same conductor style. So all of these Mac block connectors, we offer them in uh, basically a two port as well as a splice. 
Um, this would be the two port in and out. And this would be the splice. Uh, there, I want to take that back a sec, Mike. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. Oops. Yep. All the way. No, I'm going the wrong way. You are going the wrong way. Just use the arrows on the yeah, keyboard, Mike. Right. Use the arrows on the keyboard oh, instead of your mouse. <laughs> All the way. Okay. Well, after a bang up start. Anyways. There you go. Hold on. There you go. There? Yeah. There you go. Oh. Go ahead, one slide. There you go. That one. Um, all these. Okay, can we get it? Are you all listed for 486 uh, A and B, which is basically power applications as well as uh, being able to be used in grounding type applications? As you know, Mike had mentioned one of the big one of the big usages uh, for the purples or what they call remediation work. Um, those will be in instances where contractors are doing work that need to go from an aluminum conductor over to copper. Uh, that's pretty prevalent in, um, you know, homes and homes and buildings that were done in the 70s, where copper was scarce and high and um, very expensive. Um, places were done in aluminum. The challenge with that is, you know, obviously you, you really don't want to combine uh, two dissimilar metals. Could you go back a second, Mike? Um, yeah, you don't want to conduct. You don't want to combine two different materials in the same in the same connection, uh, predominantly for a number of reasons, uh, temperature rise, uh, potential for a uh, higher potential for ground, um, what they call uh, corrosion. Um, you know, so in this particular product, what's unique is not only are they small, dealing with 18 down to number six, um, these also allow to multiple conductors to go in a single port which a lot of mechanical connectors are not allowed to do that. So you can put, um, for example, in one port, you can put in two number 12 aluminums on one side, come out with four number, you know, four number 14s um, on the other side in copper. Um, so it allows, you know, purple specifically gears for remediation work. We do also offer them in a white, a green and a black type of product. Uh, they're all rated for 90 degrees C, up to 300 volts. The cover ratings are up to 105 degrees Celsius, and they do have a flammability rating of a V2. Um, next slide, Mike. Again, um, you know, all these products are available in white, green, and black, as well as purple. Predominantly, the purple signifies for remediation work. Uh, that's those cases where contractors are going from aluminum to copper. Again, typically more in the older homes. Um, and having that multiple conductor per port provides capabilities that our competitors don't. So it's a really compact size. Um, in comparison, again, it does have a wide range from you know, number 18 all the way down to number six. A lot of different markets can be used um, from residentials to apartment buildings for renovations, um, as well as a lot of potential other applications that you know could run across. They're not meant to be an equal to a, to a split bolt or to a Wago product or to a, a wire nut. Um, these are a mechanical style connector that are reusable, um, that cover that wide range. And I, some of the key things about that are, not only will it take multiple conductors, but it will also take a uh, fine strand cable like SO. Um, SO cables, I know, you know contractors typically in the past have used wire nuts. Uh, wire nuts are not the best application for a fine strand cable. Um, in this particular product, it is designed to be able to take that. So a uh, wide variety of, of capabilities. Uh, the biggest one we've seen has been uh, based off of uh, remediation work. That's There's a lot of that work going on. It's not a typical application that a lot of distributors run into because it's not something where like contractors talk about a lot. Um, however, it is a good question to ask, you know, if they do any remediation work, it makes a good opportunity and, and it's cost effective. So next slide, Mike. Yeah, another real key another real real key point is that with that white, black, and green, right? So since multiple conductors can go under one screw, especially number 12 or two number 12s and two number 10s, um, you know, them areas where 
they're making a connection with four number 12s under one wire nut, you know, one of them will always pull out. So that gives, you know, the white, black, and green gives you, a, you know, the capability of making a better connection with some of the larger conductors or multiple connect conductors in one box. Yes. Um, so when you're looking at comparisons, really the biggest, the biggest competitor out there is King Innovation Illumicon. However, we offer a, a lot more capabilities than the, than the King Innovation product. Uh, first of all, King can only do one conductor per port. Um, in the case where a contractor is doing, um, in the case where a contractor is is putting it in the middle of a circuit, where they've got one line coming in, one line going out to feed the next plug, and then tapping off with a with a copper conductor, you know they need a three port. In ours, you can do it all with with one application. Um, in addition to that, you know, King doesn't offer multiple conductors per port. It doesn't offer um, capability for flex wire or fine strain cables such as SO. Um, you know, King offers the one purple. They also offer a purple wire nut. In a lot of cases, we've been getting feedback from inspectors of job sites where upgrades are going on that they are no longer accepting the purple wire nut as an option for remediation work. Um, you know, and we can be competitive with that. And again, we offer them in four different colors. So, you know, purple typically is the remediation work, um, but you can also get them in a white, a black, and a green, which can be used in a variety of different applications. And we also do offer in both a splice and a tap, where the only thing that Lumicon has is a, is a tap. So, next slide. Ideal products, um, you know, they have the purple wire nut again. Their ranges are a lot are a lot smaller. Uh, they're maxed out at three conductors in a wire nut. Yes, they are dual rated. Um, they're only rated for 486C, where ours is rated for both 486A, B, as well as 467, IE being grounding. They are not rated for direct burial at this time. Uh, we probably will be coming out with an item that will be available for for direct burial and again it uses flex conductor where um, the ideal purple wire nuts can't so we do have a lot of literature so if you get customers that are looking for some handouts or you need some flyers with cut sheets i mean we've got a lot of that marketing capability available um, as well as if you you know you need some samples to hand out to customers you know talk to mike or the thea team um, and they can get some for for you to hand you know hand out and show. Uh, the wire charts, all of the bags, um, as well as stuffer sheets will all come with charts. Basically the charts are just basically looking at the, the wire combinations and what you're doing, line it up and you know it'll be basically tell you yeah it's a good application or not. Uh, again the information sheets everything is all is all out there plus we do have a uh, Cross references available to go from Illumicon, as well as the ideal wire nuts over to the, the new MacBlock product. We do have a website specifically built uh, so that you know if you wanted to send something to customers that they could look at. Um, basically, the website's there, but it also has a QR code that they can scan and go directly there. Um, it has the literature available as well as some of the key points of the MacBlock that we talked about today. In addition to, I believe it also has a YouTube video. Uh, as with all of other, all of our other Illsco products, um, you know, we do have a, vit, a whole YouTube channel uh, with demonstrations and, and product coverages. We also have designed this landing page to be mobile friendly. So whether they're using a phone, whether they're using a tablet, or whether they're using a computer, um, it will adjust based off of the device they're using. Uh, again, this is just a, the, the web page. You can go on, Mike. And again. And yes, we do also have them in merchandise packs. So typically they come in packs of 24. You can get them in a mixed pack of six. In addition to, we offer them in bulk 500,000 piece or 2,000 piece packages. Um, you know, they can fit on a peg hook, they can fit on slat boards. Uh, that's the YouTube video. There's the next slide, Mike, um, which we covered. 
And I think that's probably it, right? Yep, that'll cover that. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the Mac blocks. We'll just go into a little, little short, uh, little short presentation on the tooling, just to let everybody know um, how broad um, the range of tooling that Ilsco actually offers. Um, so Rich will get a little bit into their uh, their warranties and quality and. Uh, all the testing that they've done on all their tools to ensure that the, the uh, um, all the listings are there that um, you know the contractors are covered um, when they're out there in the field. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, you want me to do this for Mike? Sure. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, so our Taskmaster tool, if you haven't been if you haven't been made aware of, and I'm sure you probably have, just wanted to quickly touch base on a couple things. Um, you know. A couple of years back, we revamped our entire tooling line. Came out with a uh, came out with the Taskmaster line of tools, offering everything from crimp to cut tools, uh, battery inlines, battery pistol grips, manual tools, remote heads, um, you know, hydraulic pump, um, as well as a full line of stripping tools. Uh, these are a proprietary product to Ilska. Um, one of the you know, a couple of the, the key points on the Taskmaster tools is that, uh, you know, first of all, it uses the Milwaukee battery platform. You wanna go to the next slide, Mike? Um, you know, it is a full line of cutter and crimper tools. There's a number of reasons why we made a change a few years back, um, you know, looking for something a little bit more robust as well as some other things, but it is a full line of cutter tools uh, from battery actuated style tools uh, to manual as well as remote uh, remote heads. They're all state of the art, state of the art hydraulic tools. Um, where our battery tools are also sitting on the M18 uh, Milwaukee platform. So in that particular case, you know, customers got Milwaukee batteries. It's a direct line. They are not Milwaukee tools. Uh, they are proprietary tools. They are all hydraulic tools. Where some of Milwaukee's tools are hydraulic, some are electric. Um, all of our tools are hydraulic. That being said, it provides a, a lot of advantages for durability, um, you know, long-term use, and you know everything from our inline crimping tools, to inline cutting tools, all the way up to the 12-ton dialus and, or sorry, die style tools, as well as our uh, four-point dialus. All the tools come with a five-year warranty. Uh, the standard 3M Milwaukee battery warranty applies. So the beauty about that is if there is a problem with a battery, you can throw it in with your standard Milwaukee cycle. Um, one of the key things about, about the tools, before uh, we used to private label from a lot of places, um, this whole new proprietary line of tools, we warehouse as well as repair in Cincinnati, Ohio. With that, we've got a five-day guarantee. If a customer tool should break in the field, we guarantee to have that back in five days. If for some reason we can't, um, we will offer a loaner tool for them to use for either A, the duration of the job, or B, till their tool can be returned to them. Um, another key thing about all of our Taskmaster tooling is we have physically, we, i.e. being Ilsco, have you listed all of our, um, you know, all of our crimp tools with competitors' lugs. So not only are they listed with Burndy, uh, TMB, Ilsco, but they're also listed with Panduit. And all of that testing has been done in-house, as with all of our UL testing. So when we say it's UL listed, we physically tested it. We haven't sent it out. Um, that allows us the capability to continuously uh, evaluate uh, our competitors' connectors to make sure there are no issues with the tools. In addition, if they're using a Taskmaster tool, and they're crimping with sure crimp lugs, uh, sure crimp compression lugs, we warranty that installation for five years, that crimp installation for five years. So, and um, for service wise, you know, roughly about 20,000 cycles, if the customer sends that tool back to Ilsco, we will go through the entire tool from fluids to seals, basically refurb the entire tool and they get a pretty much a brand new tool back to them. So now we're on to uh, the the pin adapters. Uh, Ilsco has just redesigned all the uh, all their pin adapters. Um, a lot of advantages over the com 
competition with these. Um, Rich is probably the best one to talk about this um, just because they are so new and just launched. Um, so Rich, I'll let you take it from here. Sure, go ahead. I want to go to the next slide. <laughs> so, um, you know, our, our flex to code pin adapters, uh, primary use for that is applications where customers are going from a fine strand, either it's a, um, a DLO, uh, class G, H, K, any fine strand, extra fine strand conductors, um, typically are going to require a pin terminal. Um, you know, this can be used in a variety of different markets, whether you're talking the commercial, the industrial, medical data centers, we see a lot of that. Um, you know, big use for this is temporary power applications. Um, in addition to anywhere where a fine strand conductor is used. In the, the temporary power applications or data center markets, a lot of times transitions from um, the switch gear over to the UPS systems or battery backups, a lot of times flexible conductors used. When that flexible conductor is used, that's typically fine strand. Now, um, the challenge with that is, and a lot of people don't realize, you just don't want to take a fine strand conduct, uh, conductor and throw it into a mechanical lug. Because um, a lot of those mechanical lugs are not rated for fine strand cable. You want to go to the next slide, Mike? Um, you know, to that point, what we call our F2Cs or anything that starts with an F2C is basically that flex that flex to code conductor. Um, we make pin terminals in, in three different styles. The F2C deals with the flex. Uh, ACMs typically are used, um, they can be used on either copper or aluminum. They're available in either a straight or, or an offset pin. And again, that's used uh, typically as takes, for example, dropping a, a 600 down to a 500 pin. So in most cases, pin terminals are used uh, to go into a mechanical connector. Um, they're dealing with a voltage drop situation or whether you're dealing with converting the fine strand conductor over to a solid pin. So the F2Cs are rated for flex. Uh, the ACMs are a dual rated product. Uh, they're rated for both copper as well as aluminum. And then the CPMs, uh, which pre predominantly are copper to copper, I'm turning a copper from that to a solid pin. Okay, next slide. Okay, a um, couple big things with the flex to code, and I'll show you a couple of examples at, on the next on the next slide when we get to there. But a couple big things that are different than anybody else. Um, you know, our our pin terminals in this particular design is a solid pin, so it's not a piece of conductor that's tin plated, crimped in. It is a solid pin. It is a one piece design. It is more compact uh, to, for a tighter fit. In some cases, if the fits are too big it's gonna push beyond, um, or it's gonna take up more space in the box. All of our flex to code conduct uh, pin terminals all only require a single crimp, or a lot of our competitors require multiple, multiple crimps to make that a complete installation. Ours requires only one, and there's a marking on it that'll say crimp here, you crimp it with the appropriate tooling, and you're done. Um, you know, so that's gonna make for a faster installation, an easier installation, a cleaner installation. They are CUL US, which basically means CSA and UL. Uh, and they are UL listed with over 50 other tools. Not only ILSCO, but a variety of other manufacturers, Greenlee, Burndy, um, Husky, TMB. Uh, they are tin plated, which allows for uh, low contact resistance. And they are tested to multiple standards. Okay, next slide. Example of where, so if you can see here, so if termination on flex conductors, whether it's DLO, G, H, I, K, which are all fine strain conductors, um, you do not want to install those into a mechanical connector because by the time you try to torque it down and get to the right re uh, requirements, most of the time it either A, damages the conductor or B, it causes the, the fine strands to flare out so much that you get a hot spot. 
the pin terminals are meant to be crimped onto the conductor and then put right into a mechanical connector and tightened down. So again, the, you know, the food for thought here is if a contractor is using fine strand cable, a good question to ask is, hey, how are you attaching that? What are you using to terminate that conductor? And recommend a pin terminal. Uh, this is just an example of the catalog numbering system. We try to keep our catalog numbering system, you know, very simple. F2C standing for flex to code. Then it's got the flex conductor size. So whether it's 4 odd, 3 odd, and then the equivalent out, uh, pin output size. Couple big advantages with the flex to code, like I kind of already um, brought up earlier. It is uh, rated for class B and C conductor. It is range taking. They are UL listed for power as well as grounding applications, where in, in some cases our competitors are not. And they are UL listed with a variety of other tools, where in most cases our competitors are not. So. Uh, there's plenty of sales collateral. If you've got customers that are interested, you know, Mike can Mike or the Thea team can get this for you. You can also get it off the, the Yolsco website. Um, you know, if there are any questions, I mean, never hesitate to, to reach out to, to us or technical services, and we'll help you through that application. And that's pretty much the end. Um, so thank you, Rich. A really good job. Um, any questions or anything, be happy to answer them now. Um, I guess if Stephanie's there, she can take everybody off of mute. <clears throat> okay, everybody should be able to speak right now if they'd like to, if they have any questions. Great job, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take all the credit for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to walk through really, I just want to show you really quick where you can find the training. Um. <clears throat> Rich, I like the green wall setting you got going on back there. You, you like that? <laughs> uh, you know, I couldn't get away with the green screen, so, you know, green wall, I guess. I like it. Can you see my screen there, guys, or no? Ken. Yep, it's all stuff. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> my internet is good. So just so everybody knows on the call, this is our homepage right here. A little better. If we ever have an update on where it comes or the COVID things. <laughs> It'll bring you to the training page, which will offer three different options. The YouTube channel, will you, where you'll be able to find this video after we're done. Live training schedule, if you click on that. It'll show you all of the trainings that we have coming on that are live, such as this one. You will be able to subscribe if you'd like to keep updated on all the, the latest uh, trainings you have going on. You'll be able to uh, sync up your calendar. And here's all of them that'll pop up. You could register for whichever ones you'd like. If you want to find the ones that are particular to uh, an interest that you have, you can hit filter, go to lighting, controls, the supplies. If you click on supplies, you'll be able to see a lot of the ones from ILSCO that they have coming on. If you see the Taskmaster ones they have coming up and a whole bunch of program and crimping compliance and the importance of proper connections that we have coming up on the 11th, you'll be able to see lots of those. And then if you go back to our training page and then go to online learning, these are ones that are not live but are offered uh, whenever you have the free time. If you can't make one of our live trainings, here you'll find all most of our manufacturers and you'll be able to click on Elsco. Hey, one, one other thing, if I can interject uh, for a second, Stephanie. Yeah. Um, you know, I do want to offer out, and I know 
your team's probably already done this to any of the distributors on the call. If for some reason, you know, whether it's Taskmaster or whatever, um, you know, you want to do a virtual sales call with a customer, you know, if there's some interest in something or you want to just take it to the next level, you know, feel free to reach out to any of us and we can do one-offs. Um, you know, and I think, especially when you start talking Taskmaster tooling, uh, if they want to see a demo of the tool or some of the capabilities, we can do that also. So I just wanted to throw that out there. I know that it's a tough time for everybody right now, um, you know, especially getting out. But, you know, that that offer is always there in addition to the the training that's going on. So I appreciate the allowing ILSCO to be part of it, um, you know, and whatever we can do to help increase sales for them and as well as us, it's, you know, we're here to help you. Yep. ILSCO team and the THA team are always here if you need us. Uh, and also the online training, as I just clicked through, this is these are courses through ILSP University that they have online that are always available to you. Here's a whole listing and you'll get more information. You have to go to the site um, where you can go through one of these trainings if you'd like. So there's just a current for you um, and also free if you have anything else that you'd like to learn uh, to contact us. Any questions? Yeah, thank you for joining us, and hopefully we'll see you on a future training. Yes, thank you, everybody, for your time. Thank you, guys.